This video is brought to you by Sailrite. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to build a winch cover for your sailboat winch. And this winch cover includes a choker, which helps to keep the cover on the winch in extreme weather. You can order a winch cover kit from Sailrite, which includes the Sumbrella marine grade fabric and all the supplies needed to build several covers for multiple winches. Do it yourself and save. To begin our project, we will need to take some measurements of the winch in order to pattern the cover. First, we'll need a circumference measurement, so we will measure the diameter of the winch to calculate for the circumference. Sailrite recommends using a soft tape measure and actually measuring around the body of the winch to get a true circumference measurement. If you measure across the winch to get a diameter measurement, it can be deceiving to the eye. Here the diameter looks like 7 inches, but when measured with a soft tape, it's actually 8 inches. Next, measure the height of the winch. Here it's 8 inches. Write those measurements down on paper, and if you've taken a diameter measurement, you will need to multiply it by pi, 3.14, to get the circumference. On this umbrella marine grade fabric that is included in the kit, we will mark a rectangle with a length equal to the circumference plus one and a quarter inches, and a width equal to the height plus one inch. This will be the outside cover. Then for the choker, mark a rectangle with the same length as a cover, but half the height. Here are our examples calculated out. We are using a soapstone pencil to mark the fabric to the correct size and then striking lines at the appropriate spots on the fabric to create the cover panel and the choker panel. To pattern for the round top cover, we will use the diameter measurement and multiply it by a half and then add a half inch. Deb is going to create a perfect circle on the fabric by using a wooden yardstick with holes drilled in it. She will use an awl or a pen to anchor the end of the yardstick to the circle center position. Then she will use a pencil inserted in the correct hole that will equal the calculation we just made. Our anchor pin is placed one inch from the edge of the yardstick, so don't be fooled by the five and a half inch looking figure. It's actually four and a half for us. You can also use string to do this if you like. Here, after the circle is complete, you can see it's perfect, 9 inches, 8 inches plus the half inch on both sides. Since we will be creating hems on the two rectangles, we will mark a line for a future hem on the fabric now. We will mark 1 inch from one of the long edges on the cover panel and 1 and a half inches on the choker panel. Then we'll strike lines. Next, find the shock cord that's included in the kit and cut it to the length of the choker plus 4 inches. Sailrite highly recommends cutting the Sumbrella fabric out with a hot knife. This will seal the edges of the Sumbrella marine grade fabric and keep it from unraveling. If you don't have a professional hot knife like this, you may use a wood burning tool or a soldering gun. Deb is cutting on top of glass to prevent damage to the tabletop below. The winch cover kits do not include seam stick for canvas, but we always find it helpful to use when sewing. So here we are applying it to the area of the panel where a hem must be created. We will fold the fabric back so the edge of the fabric is aligned right along the line below. Deb will demonstrate using the seam stick on the cover panel, but not the choker panel. She just wants to show you that it can be done either way. The hem is held in place with a seam stick, and here she will sew the hem down using a straight stitch that is about 6 to 7 millimeters long. Be sure to reverse at the beginning and end to lock the stitch in place, and keep your stitch about 3 8 inch inside the folded edge. Now she will sew the choker panel, but first she will fold the fabric to our line which was placed one and a half inches away from the raw edge of the fabric. This will create a three quarter inch hem. Here, the stitch will be placed about a half inch from the folded edge. The shock cord needs to be inserted in the choker hem, so she will feed it inside the sleeve until two inches protrudes out each end of the sleeve. In my opinion, it looks like she has more than two inches. That excess is not required. Fold the outside cover piece in half across its width so the hems are facing out. 
Sew the two short ends together with a row of straight stitches a half inch from the edge. Reverse or bar tack over the stitch ends to lock the threads in place at the beginning and the end. Do the same with the choker. Fold it in half across its width with the hems facing out. Sew the two short ends together with a row of straight stitches a half inch from the edge. Do not sew across the shock cord. We are using the Sayerite Big and Tall sewing machine, but these winch covers are easily sewn with a standard home sewing machine. It is much easier to sew the choker to the cover panel prior to sewing the round cover on, so that's what we'll do here in this video. We will insert the choker over the cover panel with the outside surfaces facing out. We will align the bottom raw edges of both panels. Then we will align the seam lines that secure the ends of the panels together. Lay the half inch hem section down so it lays flat along one side of the panel on the inside. If you like, you can staple these two panels together to hold them in place as you sew. We will not be doing that here. We will start sewing right where the seam is located so we can ensure that the two seams will be aligned properly. Then we will sew along the raw edge with a stitch about an eighth inch to a quarter inch inside the edge and we'll line up the panels as we sew. We're going to speed up the film here. Now the panels are sewn together. Next, we will sew the round top cover to the assembly. You will find multiple ways to sew this circle to the main body. Some will cut quarter inch relief slits around the circle every inch or so. Others will staple the circle all around the sides, then sew. So do what's most comfortable for you. Here, this winch cover is rather large, so we will just place marks on the edges of the circle at the north, south, east, and west position. Then we will mark the main body assembly with those marks as well. To mark the main body, we will fold it in half at the seam section and mark the opposite side. Then fold it in half the opposite direction and mark it there also at the two folds. These are called matchup marks and will be used to help ensure that we are sewing accurately when sewing the round cover to the body assembly. If the lines don't match up when we're sewing, we know that we're doing something wrong or either the round panel is cut inappropriately for the main body. After this is done, you may want to cut relief slits in the circle, which may aid slightly when sewing the assembly together, especially for small winch covers. Here, Deb will start at a matchup mark and sew about a half inch in from the raw edges of the fabric. She will line up the raw edges as she sews around the circle. Take your time here. The slower you go, the better the results. As sewing, check to be sure the matchup marks are lining up. If they are not, it may mean one panel is being pulled faster than the other as it is being sewn down. As mentioned earlier, if you have difficulty with this, you may want to staple prior to sewing. Deb sews a few inches, stops, lines up the edges by pulling the circle to the right, and then sews a few more inches, then repeats. When we get to the starting stitches, do a few reversing stitches to lock the stitch in place.
flip the choker panel up as shown in the video and now tension the shock cord by pulling it out so it constricts the barrel to about half its original diameter. This will take quite a bit of tugging and will shrink the sleeve quite a bit. We're going to speed up the film here. From 8 inches to about 4 inches. That is perfect. Here is the underside. Sew a row of stitches across the sleeve opening to lock the cord in place. Do several reversing stitches to secure it well. If your sewing machine struggles with this, you can hand stitch it in place with a hand needle and thread. Cut off the excess shock cord with scissors and use a hot knife to seal the ends of the cord. Then just simply turn the cover right side out. Here's how it looks on the inside with the choker. Now you should be able to sew up your very own winch covers. One winch cover kit from Sarah will typically make four 7 inch diameter covers or eight 5 inch diameter covers. Larger winch covers can also be made from the kit too. Stay tuned for the materials and tools list that was used to make this winch cover. If you purchase the winch cover kit from Sarah, it will include all the materials you need to make these covers. Some of the tools listed here are very helpful but not required. For more free videos like this, be sure to check out the Sarat website or subscribe to the Sarat YouTube channel today. I'm Eric Grant, and from all of us here at Sarat, thanks for watching. It's your loyal patronage to Sarat that makes these free videos available. Thanks for your loyal support.